morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Jillian Morris. <laughs> I have lived in four states, five houses. I've gone to six different schools, six times being the new girl in every single classroom. What all the moving had taught me was to not get too attached. Yes, I should make friends, maybe feel like I'm part of a community, feel comfortable. I should definitely try to be happy. But I always have to be ready to decide what to pack in boxes, what to leave behind. All these new schools, new neighborhoods, all I had was God and the Holy Spirit. I'd seen him in someone giving a dollar bill to a homeless man on the street I didn't know. I'd see him in a student helping another pick up their fallen books, both of them strangers. No matter where I went, I could see the Holy Spirit doing good in people. What I realized was that even if I didn't feel at home there, I knew that God was everywhere around me, and it was a comforting thought. The Holy Spirit follows you everywhere, not in a scrutinizing your every move way, but in a way that reminds us all of our connection to God, no matter how far-fetched we are. The Holy Spirit gives us hope and a feeling of community in our times of loneliness. At every new church I went to, I found refuge. I felt that pumping love through every cue, everyone feeling the power of God. You can't shake the Holy Spirit. It gives you a feeling of love and community that you can bring with you everywhere. In Romans 8, verse 26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. It is a very simple verse. But what it tells us is that the Holy Spirit will give us help in our weakness so that we can help others feel strong and love one whenever we go. Thank you.